I'm Boris Saunders coming to you from Miami. Political pundits are calling it the battle to be number two. We are just hours away from that third GOP primary debate. Five candidates on the stage, except for the front runner. Here's what to expect. Thanks so much, uh, Governor Reynolds. Tuesday, Team DeSantis was in Iowa, still touting that big endorsement from Iowa's popular governor, Kim Reynolds. I welcomed candidates. They had their chance. They crisscrossed the state. Uh, I had to lean in and I had to make a decision who I felt was the best candidate, and it's Ron DeSantis. The support is likely to give Florida Governor Ron DeSantis a bump of much-needed momentum as his second-place position in the polls softens. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. He's now tied with former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley in the vital Hawkeye state. It's setting the stage, experts believe, for a battle between the two to be number two Wednesday night. It seems disrespectful to the candidates who make the stage to say that uh, they're fighting for second place. But in reality, that is what is going on. All of the polls show Trump strongly ahead, nationally and state by state. Haley's campaign giving us an early preview of debate night jabs, launching a new attack ad targeting DeSantis' opposition to offshore drilling. The title, These Boots Are Made For Lying. Ron DeSantis is against fracking. No, it's not true. Do you, do you also support a ban of fracking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three other candidates will join Haley and DeSantis, Chris Christie, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Senator Tim Scott. But the elephant in the room Who gave that right to me? won't be there. Former President Donald Trump skipping out for a third time, doing a rally to nab Hispanic voters 30 minutes away. And new polling from the University of North Florida shows he's already sitting pretty in the Sunshine State, leading opponents with 60 percent support of Republican primary voters. With our democracy and our freedoms on the line, another four years of the MAGA Florida blueprint could cause irreparable harm to this nation. Democrats, meanwhile, in Miami to pour cold water on Wednesday's GOP events. They also dismissed recent Siena polling that had President Joe Biden trailing Trump in key swing states, calling it too early to be predictive. Because we're focused on building the campaign that we need, we know the president's policies are extremely popular, and it's our job to ensure that we're getting out and really communicating that message. But that time is running out as we're now under the one-year mark for Election Day. One other thing to consider on Wednesday night is who's going to actually be watching. Pundits believe that a lot of these candidates are going to be trying to appeal to Iowans because that first in the nation caucus is a real key to taking down the former president, who again is the clear front runner. That is the latest out here in Miami. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.